Yeah, good timing. You're up early. You wet the bed. <laughs> no, I just have to work. I thought I'd get in early. Uh, get a few things done before my dad gets in. Oh, Tana says he's there already. Oh, it won't surprise me. Well, you won't have to put up with that for much longer, will you? Guess not. Hey, guys. Hey. Right, have you got everything you need for school? Summer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Right. I gotta get off, make some calls. See you later, bye, Summer. Yeah, I know it's not ideal, sweetheart, and you'd rather be in your own room, but at least my dad's a laugh. What do you mean you talk like he's Tom Jones in first place? I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I do. Well, look, the fact is that whilst that scumbag's still living over the road and in our lives, you're just gonna have to put up with it. Yeah, and he's cooking. Uh, you, you better go now, because you're going to be late. I'll call you later. I love you. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. Everything all right? No, it's not, actually. I've just had to explain to my daughter yet again why she can't live in her own home. Because it's not safe, thanks to your husband. So you and him better get that house on the market quick. Or the police are going to get a phone call about that scam of his. So, I was thinking, if we're going to make this place more family-friendly, then we need to get a kids' menu sorted. You know, light bites, that sort of thing. Yeah, maybe get a couple of eye chairs as well. Why don't you get the bar staff to dress up as the Teletubbies while you're at it? Mum, have you seen my football kit? I need it for training. No, you don't, cos you're not going. Why not? Oh, let me think. Maybe cos you and your so-called mates mugged our neighbour and put her in hospital. Well, I said I'm sorry. Oh, well, that's all right, then. I want you straight back home after school, and I'm not just talking about today. You're grounded for a month. Well, that's not fair. Sorry, you're on thin ice as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. And don't slam the door! Oh, shit. Hello, Mrs. Roberts. How are you feeling this morning? <sighs> Decrepit, sore, bored. Totally fed up to the gills. I'd call that a full house. Well, I'd call it heading for a nervous breakdown. Come on, doctor, please. Put me out my misery. When can I go home? Well, the results of the X-ray have come back. It's a fracture. And unfortunately, it's more serious than we initially suspected. Oh, no. What does that mean? Well, it means you're going to have to put up with us a while longer, I'm afraid. Oh. I'm... Really very sorry. Is there anything mm -hmm. we can do to make you feel more comfortable? Well, yes, you can get me some old magazines. I've already read these like half a dozen times. I'll uh, see what I can do. Oh, shush. Miss May. Can I get you anything? Someone else's life? Oh, sorry. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Right. Thanks. Hello, you. I'm going to drop by yours later. Just have a chat, see how you're doing. Yeah, I can't stay until I've got to go back to work. Oh, you don't seem too keen, even for you. <laughs> not exactly a laugh a minute, is it? Not with Tim there. Is he still going on about you and Pat moving? Threatened to go to the place again today. Oh. Eileen, I know you said you've made up your mind, but is it really what you want? This is your home. I don't feel like it. Not anymore, so what choice have I got here? Leaving on my account, eh? It's got to go back to work. See you later. Goodbye. I hope you haven't been upset in there. <laughs> A step on your toes. Why would I want to upset her? She's my friend. Mm. Friends can outgrow each other, can't they? Yeah. And how would you know? Hello? Yes, speaking. Oh, yeah, the cottage. Yes. Yes, I'm very interested. Alright. How's it going? Yeah, nearly finished this lot. I'm impressed. Especially considering who your last gaffer was. What do you mean by that? He said you used to work for Pat Phelan. Yeah, so? You see that bod's job over there? What, these pillars? Yeah, he did them. Two days before he was supposed to. Now have a guess why they're such a mess. I don't know. 
as the dozy Pillet decided to do him alone after everyone else had clocked off, and during a rainstorm to boot. Why? I'll never know. So, now we've got to knock him down, start again. Sweetheart. Thank you. Oh, I say, it's looking very nice in here, isn't it? You must be excited now everything's almost up and running. Yeah, tell me about it. He can barely contain himself. I am excited. I'm just busy. So, what can we do for you? I just thought I'd pop in, see how everything's going on. Getting there, just about. Oh, good. So does that mean you're free to look at villas? Oh, Carl, love, not today. We're getting some new machines delivered. I need to be here. Well, can't hear him do that. He's busy chasing up some new contracts for us, aren't you? Yes. I haven't forgotten. You'd never think he was just helping out temporarily, would you? No, you wouldn't. So, where have you got to? Uh, I'm still trying to sort out this kid's menu. Oh, let's have a look. Lasagna, chicken nuggets, mini hot pots. Oh, mini hot pots. I like it. Nice touch. Mm. Yeah, we just need to sort out the vegetarian options. Vegetarian options for a kids' menu. Don't think I know many vegetarian kids. Well, tough. We're modernising. It's going on. Ah, Steve, uh, what can I get you? Oh, no, I'm not here for a drink, thanks. Uh, just so you know, well, he is. He's fine now. Right, so you managed to get the pen off then? Yeah, most of it. Well, that's the thing, innit? You know, you say it's uh, semi permanent, but uh, you try and give it a scrub and then. Right, well, uh, I'm sensing a bit of a tense vibe, so why don't I take him to the park and, uh, you know, give you a break? All right, fine. On one condition, you keep him away from Tracy. I don't want her anywhere near him. Well, what am I supposed to do, run in the other direction? I mean it, Steve, after what she said. That's fine. No, it's OK. Uh, right, uh, right, come on, mate. Look, I know Tracy can be a bit of a cow sometimes. She called me something thick, and I've got enough on my plate worrying about Simon without worrying about her at all. I don't know when they didn't say. All, all I heard was them talking about knocking down these pillars because of the mess you made of them. Look, look, I've done what you, I've done what you told me to, so when am I going to get my 80 quid? Hello, well, Pat. Pat, you there? Blame me no more. Gary? Yeah, it's me. I I'm just at the site, but uh, can you and Tim meet me later? I need to talk to you, right? I think I know where feelings hidden the bunny used on Luke. Down my front, I had to climb and change. Not having a good day. You could say that. Well, hopefully, this will cheer you up. What do you think, eh? Two bedroom, big garden, five minute walk from the sea. Mm -hmm. Looks lovely. That's what I thought. So, I'll call the estate agent. And I've got us a bit of a deal, sort of a test drive. What do you mean? Well, I told them we were very interested. It was just the sort of thing we were looking for, but we'd like to check the area out first. So, they've offered to rent it to us for a week. Hey, before we make a decision, what do you think? Listen, love, I know I've messed up. I know that I've hurt you. This could be, you know, an opportunity to get away for a week, just the two of us. This could be the start of our new life together. Mm. Well, it doesn't matter, because I can't go. Why not? Well, for a start, I can't leave Summer here on her own. Definitely not while Billy's still in rehab. I understand that you're worried about them. What about us, love? I don't think you realise what being around here is doing to me. I'm not exactly having a great time myself, but it's not going to be for much longer. We need to get away, love. I need to get away. Yeah, and when we find a buy for the house, we'll go. But until then, we'll have to tell him that we can't make it. Going back to work. You missed it. Is there not something more productive you could do with your time? <laughs> Maybe. 
that it wouldn't be as much fun as standing here winding you up. Hey, afternoon, all. Someone is in a good mood? No, hardly. I just, uh, it's just nice to get out of the pub for half an hour, to be honest. Mm, why? Trouble in paradise? No, there's a few things going on, but I won't bore you with it. And on top of that, Toy is talking about making the place more family friendly, you know, concentrating on the meal side of things. When will this be occurring? Well, soon, I think, will really. Well, did it not cross your mind that this change you're talking about could have an adverse effect on my livelihood? Well, to be honest, it's more Toya's idea than mine. I just do what I'm told. Well, like your son, unfortunately. All right, easy, Roy. That's a bit below the belt. Is it? What was all that about? Oh, it's nothing. No, no, no. If Simon's upset, Look, boy, I'd Look, like leave to... it, please. It's, it's complicated, OK? No, it's not OK. What's that about? All right, I'll tell you, but not here. Well, come on, then. Hey, I'm just thinking about you. Ah, nothing good, I hope. Have you got a minute? Uh, I've just got to grab a sandwich, then I've got to get back to the factory. Can it wait? Yeah, sure. Hey, love. How was school? Oh, it was all right, except for biology. I always hated biology. All them slicing frogs and cow's eyeballs. No, it's not that. It's just there's this boy in my class called Isaac, and he kept flipping elastic bands at the back of my head. My boy's so stupid. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. Cup of tea, love? Uh, yeah. Um, what is this? It's a little cottage I've been looking at. I thought me and Arlene could get away for a little break, you know, have a week away. Cool. Yeah, not going now, though. How come? Well, because somebody's got to be here to look after you. Sorry. Oh, no, look, I didn't mean it like that. No, I don't mean it like that. I'm sorry. A bit of a pity, though, eh? Get the idea that Arlene could use a break. It hasn't been an easy couple of months for her. To be honest with you, Sam, I'm a bit worried about her. But what can you do? Eh? She's made her mind up, so. Oh, well, maybe I could talk to her or something? Well, that's very sweet of you, but she's never ever going to leave you on your own, is she? Oh, well, maybe I wouldn't have to be on my own. What do you mean? Just leave it with me, I'll be back in a bit. Mm. Oh, great, thanks. Come on then, spill. And I mean the beans, not the coffee. <sighs> All right, um, you know how Audrey got mugged by that gang of lads? Mm. What about it? Well, Simon was one of them. Hey? What? I knew something was going on, but I wasn't expecting that. No, me neither. Does Audrey know he was involved? Yeah, we made him go to the hospital and apologise to her. She said, luckily, she's not going to go to the police. Well, I don't know, saying that, you know, part of me thinks, well, maybe we should. Give him a shock. Made him realise how serious this is. Anyway, that's... That's what Roy was talking about earlier. Hmm. Listen, I, I know you must be worried, but... You know what? It just sounds like he's... He's got in with the wrong bunch of kids. I mean, it's not like he's ever been violent or anything before, is it? That's just it, though, Carla, he has. I mean, admittedly, it was a while ago, but he lashed out at Leanne. Hurt her. He hit her? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I mean, I should have seen this coming. I mean, he's been acting up for a while. You know, he's been nicking booze from the pub and conning people out of money. Mm, yeah, he tried that on me. <sighs> OK. But, you know, Peter is not a little kid anymore. You can't blame yourself. Oh. I'm not sure about that. With everything that's been going on, I've not been there for him. But then again, what's new, eh? Oh, hello. Who are you getting all glammed up for? Oh, well, chance would be a fine thing. I'm just getting myself ready to go up to the hospital to see Audrey. Oh, I'll give her my best. I will, love. So, any more news? About what? Spain, what else? 
Oh, well, I have seen the most beautiful villa, which I have completely fallen in love with. And has Johnny? Oh, well, he hasn't seen it yet. He's been too busy with Aidan and the factory to spend any time thinking about the rest of our lives together. He's probably making sure everything's up and running before you go. Or he's having second thoughts. You know, maybe I should just stick a deposit down on it without telling him, make his mind up. Not a good idea. You know, this isn't a pair of shoes you've seen and fallen in love with. This is your future. And Johnny's as well. Talk to him. When he sees how enthusiastic you are about it, you'll be on that plane before you know it. Oh, cheers. So, uh, what have you done to yourself? Oh, um, I was pushing Ollie on the swing, see how high I could get him, and a um, uh, fit mum walked by. Mm. I turned to look, and the swing hit me in the head. There is probably a moral in there somewhere. Probably. that told you he laid the pillars himself. Yeah. Even though they weren't due for two days. And feeling did it all alone when everyone else had gone home. Yeah, that was the night I told you about when I took Eileen over and pulled him out of white concrete. I should have left him there or put my foot on his head and pushed him under. Well, it does sound dodgy, but it still doesn't prove out, does it? Right, well, how about this, then? So after Frank had said that they were going to knock him down and start again, I heard one of the labourers call Feeling and tell him what was going on. And it was obvious from what was said that he was getting paid to do it. So why would Feeling go to all that trouble if, if he wasn't hiding something? I don't know. Why do? It's the gun. It's got to be. And we've got to find it before someone else does or it ends up getting lost. Well, are you going to help me or what? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're right. As much as I'd like to see him go under, I can't get involved. I've got a fate to think about, haven't I? I'd like to see him out of here, though. Guess it's just me and you, then. Vegetarian sausages? What's going to eat, then? Well, vegetarians, obviously, like me. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that vegetarian sausages and... Butternut squash and sage risotto <laughs> on the menu is a bad idea. Just not a good one. Not for a place like this. Look, people's tastes are changing, Liz, and we are going to change with them. Oh, you took your time. Where have you been? Yeah, I just thought I'd have a bite to eat the calf. Did Roy say how old you was doing? I, I didn't get a chance to ask him, to be honest, love. Hey, Lee, you okay? No, Sai's not back from school yet, and he's not answering his phone. Well, maybe he's just missed his bus. So why is he not rank like he normally does? Oh, I don't know. Feet up, sat in bed, talk about a life of Riley. Rita, what are you doing here? Well, I quite fancy one of them young doctors out there, so I thought I might try me luck. You know, a bit late when he comes off duty. Oh. I've come to see you, your daft mare. How are you feeling? Not good, actually. I've just found out I've got to stay for the foreseeable. Oh, and I'm sorry to hear that. Luckily, I've bought you some nice magazines. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, anyway. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. What's the matter? That oh, flaming song. I quite like that. Yes. Well, you wouldn't if you heard her humming it half a dozen times a day. And you know it's about somebody dying, don't you? I mean, what kind of DJ plays a song like that in a hospital? Oh, Rita, please, get me out of here. I'm begging you. Oh. <laughs> hey, Simon! Simon, where are you going? Into town, why? I think you should go on. At your mum's side? That's not bad, eh? No, I'm not his mum. I just don't think he should be hanging around with a bunch of wasters like you. What did you just say? Do you honestly think I'm scared of you? Well, maybe you should be. Up 
feel of. Okay. I'm just doing some pink work. Finish your shift? Yeah, someone came to see me. Yeah, I saw her when she got back from school. Mm, I know, I know. You told her about what's going away. Yeah, well, she'd seen the brochure. She asked me about it. You don't mind, do you? No, that's why I'm here. Um, apparently, Ash has been asking her for a sleepover at her place, so some of the cheeky monkey asked Deb if she could stay for the week while we were away. Hey, I never put her up to that. Do I believe you? So what did they say? Deb said, yeah. Does that mean we can go, just the two of us? Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe we do need to get away from here to see if we can sort things out. So when you've finished here, why don't you come home and help me pack? I love you, Eileen. I promise you, you are not going to regret this. back on the cobbles here in half an hour.